So I was sitting on the couch one day and I was thinking, how can I get a label to roll around like a can? And this is what I came up with. So the first thing I knew I was going to need would be a square. So I'm going to get my square out and then I'm going to turn it into a rectangle. I'm going to make it to the size that I kind of want my cylinder. You want to make it just a hair bit bigger than what you want your cylinder just for the shading effects that are going to come into play. And then you're going to pick your color. So let's do, this looks like a can. It's already got a little bit of shading to it. So we can do that or we can do a, I think my first one I did, the first one that's in that video is actually a white one. I started on a white background, so we'll do that. We can do the back white background. And then once you get it where you're going, you can actually go in there and change it to all kinds of colors and, and have like multiple colors if you want to after the, after the fact. So we need this. And the second thing we're going to need is, if you know me, we're going to go down on my stars. We're going to go and get this black gradient rectangle. And we're going to get two of these. One for each side. So what we want to do here is stop rolling around like a crazy person. And then I want to go in till it starts looking like it's a curve. So you want enough shading. So see like it right at that point, it looks like it's going to curve. So now that I have my curve, what I want to do is I want to go into my crop and I want to crop it down to the top. I want to crop it over to my edge. I want to crop it up. And I want to crop it over. And if you leave a, like a slim little hairline at the top, it actually winds up looking like a shine. I'll show you here in a second. But see how it looks like a little bit of a shine? You can do that if you want to. If not, you can just go all the way up. Um, but if you if when you're doing the positioning, if you have just a little bit, and I've seen it on the edge on this one too, and it actually makes a little bit of a shine to it. See, I've got that not lined up like I want it either. So let's see if we can move that over just a hair. And we put this down a hair. Let's go back into crop and pop that up just a smidge. It can go over, it's not gonna hurt anything. And then you wanna do the same with the other side. Let's move it back a little bit. Let me get my arrow keys here. I'm gonna arrow keys gonna work with me here a little bit. There we go. So you want to get it to it looks like it's a that edge is curled. So you don't want to go you don't want to go hard in. See it's like almost black. I mean you can if you really want to, but you don't. And see that's a good edge piece right there that you can see. So I like that. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to go in here and do the same thing. And honestly, you don't really have to crop these down if you don't want to. It's not going to hurt anything if you don't crop them down. I just I just do just kind of get them out of the way. But So now you have your cylinder. That is step one. Very easy. You can use these for columns and all kinds of things and designs. I've used them for columns and stuff. Um, I like making them. I've made them textured. I've done all kinds of weird stuff with them, but that's just me. But so now we need to find something to make a label. So let's go over to my uploads and let's see what I have in here that I can use. All right, let's use this. This is my YouTube banner for my other channel that I pretty much don't, don't do anything with anymore. It's little shorts of my dog and I made over, I made 200, made over 200 trivia questions and that's how it's, that channel started. So if you like trivia or something, you can stop on over there and just have a blast watching that and trying to figure out if you know the answers to the trivia. Eh, if you get bored, no biggie. So what we want to do is we want to line this up towards the edge here. And what I want to go and do is go up. We can move this out the way here. And I want to go to animate. Animate. Click your little B. Hit your shift key because if you're like me, 
you don't have a steady hand. And if you try to do straight line, it's not going to work out for you. So what I want to do now is I want to go and get it to go all the way across. So we're going to see that go all the way across. And let's put it on steady. There you go. Steady it up, girl. There we go, baby. So now we got it going all the way across. Done. And then what I want to do is go in my position and I want to move that behind my shadows. So now we want to do a test drive and see what that looks like. So now you can see it going across underneath the shadows. So the next thing I want to do, now you can see the label on both sides. So to get rid of those, I'm going to go in my elements. And what I'm going to do again is I'm going to get a rectangle. And what I want to do with this rectangle is I want to move it and I want to put it on the edge here and I want to put it all the way over so it hides my label. And I want to turn it to the background color, which is black. And then I want to duplicate that and do that on the same on the other side to make sure that my label we covered and you want it on the edge of here. So now what you want to do, you see, is you see your label going around. So I see I need to take this and move it over a little bit. Come on, let me do, come on, baby, let me do my arrow keys. Here we go. So let's do four bumps and that lit up. So let's check that again and see. All right, now that's gone. So now you see your label going across. So now you have the basic thing. So I created that and I was like, all right, so now I can get the label going across, but I kind of, I want to figure out how, because it looks like it's going up. Like my boyfriend was like, oh, it just looks like a label going across, but it looks like it's going across a stable cylinder. The cylinder's not moving. I was like, well, how am I going to make that move? So to get that to look like it's moving, we're going to change this to white real quick so we can kind of work on it. Or what you can do is you can just add another page so you can have a work page and then you can uh, come, you can uh, copy and paste and bring it over. So what I want to do there is I wanted to go and go back and get me two more of my... Gradients. And what I want to do is kind of make a line in them so it's kind of going around. But I really want to fade them out. So it's just enough so it looks like a movement, but not like overpowering the top. So I kind of got those really light. Come on, stop being mean to me. And kind of put them. So I wanted that little line to be able to move. So then what I did is I put this all the way down. Really, really, really small. So I could make these really, 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 really big. So I want to make these really, really, really big because I need them to cover the whole movement of the can. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to group these two together. I am going to control C. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to make this big enough so where I can see it again. I'm going to turn this white just for visuals and I'm going to control V and I'm going to put this over here so I can get and look, so you can see like a little bit of a shine going across of it. And if you need to, you can darken it up, but I don't really like to go too dark because you start taking away the color of the can, you know, because it, it darkens it up too much. So, but I just needed enough movement that you can like, when it rotates around, you can start to kind of see like a slight movement across the can. So then what I wanted to do here is I kind of want to animate this. So I kind of want to, go kind of dark to light across the can. So what I do is I'm going to go into animate. Uh, let's do position first. So if you're any animating anything that's group, the best way to do it is go into your position and click on it and then click animate. 
I have noticed if you just click on the grouped item sometimes and then go to animate, it will only animate one piece of that object. So, but if you go into position, click it in position, and then go to animate, it will take the whole group with it. So now I want to go here, and then I want to drag this across to try to see if I can get some shine going across of it. Now you can darken it up if you want to, but don't want to darken it up too much. So let's put John on that, and let's put the black background back in it to see how it looks. It's a little too light because I don't really see it in there. So what I want to do now is let's go back into this one and ungroup this one and uh, turn the transparency up a little bit on it. And then group it back. What we want to do is go in here and go into position. We want to take this and then we want to delete it. And then what we want to do in here is we want to control C. Control V. And see, see, see how you see the bar going across just ever so slightly. It gives you just enough look of a rotation. So what I want to do is line this up to where I want to see that shadow kind of coming across. Even though it's very light, like, you, like I said, you can darken it up. You can do it as much as you want to. And if you find a different way, please let me know to make it this like simpler. So what I want to do now... Let's go into position this animate and drag this across where I saw that it looked good. And then we want to smooth it out. And you can see a slight, you can see slight movement within it. So I was trying to get where I could get this line to move, but I can't, I can't, I can I can try that. We can try that if you want to. Um, let's delete the path. So we can also, it's an idea. Working live here, people. So let's, hold on. Let's, let's duplicate this page. And let's see something. So position. We're going to take this one. Let's take these two off. Well, I don't know. I think it's going to look square if I do that. Yep. So I need to have those on there to keep that. Hmm. Okay. Idea. Idea Ixnade. So what I was thinking that maybe that we could use the big one as one and get that line out of there to make that line kind of go across because that's maybe later that'll work. And if it is, maybe I'll put it in the comments or something. Or if you're part of Canva design group, I will definitely put it in there um, if I can figure out a way to make it look more mobile. But like I said, that is your can and that is your can spinning around. And that's how you do it. And that's what it looks like. Um, if you want to have it going where you want the label coming back in on the other side, or a different label coming in, what I would do is I would use your show timing. Like I would put another label in. Let's see here. Let's do that. Hey, let's experiment with that live too. So let's uh, put, uh, let's go back into our uploads here. Um, let's put in a, just something else that's different. Doesn't really matter what it is. Um, let's put that just, just because it's different. We'll do to kind of make it look something. Hell, let's do pink. Okay, apply. Apply. All right, so what I want to do is line that up, and then I want to animate it the same way. Um, let's see. We're going we're gonna to test drive something, people. We're going to see if we can make one come across the other side. So I want to go 
like that. We want to study that up because I suck. Okay, and then done. I want to move it up some to kind of match the other one. And then what I want to do is put it in the position. I want it with this one right here. The other thing I want to do now with this is I want to go and set the timing, show timing. So I want it when it's coming, I want it to come around on the other side. Like it's a label coming. So there's a like, there's a label on both sides. All right, we're trying this live. I've never done it before. So let's see if it works. Anticipation. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So if you have a label that's got like the ingredients or something on the back and you want to make it look like that, so you can actually do that. All right, well, that's, those other ones aren't what we were working with. Um, so that's what it looks like. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. So, yeah, you can do one and have one coming in on the other side. So awesome sauce. Yay, team. Yay, we figured out something together. I love it. 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 So that's the end of that. And it's just showing you the weirdo pages that we duplicated back here. We can have the time and get rid of that. And then delete these. Delete. Delete. And delete. So that's how that's done and thank you for stopping by and like i said if you learn anything you got any tips to make this this little trick even better please leave them in the comments um if you're part of the, the uh, facebook group canva the yeah i cannot speak right now the canva design group on facebook please post it in there and if you can tag me in it or whatever so i know that's what's going on I would greatly appreciate that. I want us to learn. I want us to grow. I want us to make really cool things together. So with that, much love. Please subscribe. Please like. And please come again. Love you guys. Bye.